So we just had a huge live stream reveal for Rain's World, going through some new characters, skills, boxes, cards, decks, all that kind of thing. And inside the game itself, a big announcement that we're getting Master of 5, the EMZ, the Link Zones, on September 20th, the whole week before the Rain's World drops, which is so, so cool, right? You've got a week to learn the brand new mechanics of Pendulum Summoning, and then they change again when we get the links. And beyond that, we're also getting uh, the, the big thing, I think, is manual mode. This is uh, kind of crazy, of course. We talked about this a while ago in the leaks, and uh, having three options, right, is so, so big for the game. And these two changes are by far the biggest change we've had in Duel Links in the last five years. This is going to drastically shake up the way the game is played, and I am all for it. But let's go to the kind of important stuff, the cool stuff, the Reigns World coming to the game. And oh boy, are they going out with a bit of a bang. So first of all, let's just go to the login campaign rewards, right? Of course, we're getting the gems, we're getting the skill to get the character ticket, we're getting the dream tickets, which is of course the big thing, but also a brand new thing. 10 packs of the new box, plus a guaranteed ultra rare card. Now, this is kind of vague. They haven't said exactly, I think, whether it's a freebie or if it's a paid campaign, right? To go alongside the world, right? Rather than just a standard free packs of the star deal, it might be a new campaign or it's free. They haven't said exactly which one it is and the PR makes it even less clear. So uh, either way, probably a good thing, but if it's free, even better. And this could mean that going forward, we get this instead of 500 gems per box. We don't know just yet, but if that is the case, I would rather take this than the 500 gems. So uh, Konami, please make it happen. But also, we're getting three campaign cards in Prismatic, Code Talker, Cybus Wizard, and Backup Secretary. All of them are Reigns cards, Anime cards, Playmaker cards, and all of these should be obtainable via tickets at least, but maybe via Playmaker Skate Drops as well, because we've seen, I'll show in a minute, that we can play with more than one copy of Backup Secretary. So you imagine she's going to be via the gate drops and if not tickets is kind of fine and yeah we're getting you know some accessories right they look pretty cool you know it's kind of standard new world stuff which is plenty fine but the big deal is the brand new main box and structure deck and oh boy is this a shocker we're not getting a firewall dragon on day one we're getting deco talker we're getting some like helio we're getting sign it freaking mining which is a search spell for any cyber decks, so uh, Code Talkers, Salamon Grades, Marion says eventually, Ignistas, I think, Math Mech as well. And also, the big one for me is Pot of Duality. Oh boy. This is technically, because Logs can do normal summoning, this is technically Dark Magician support. <laughs> I'm going to cope so hard, but it technically, technically could be, which is good in my books. And also the deck containing Enko Torka and the Link Slayer, which is basically a free Cyber Dragon, which is pretty cool, right? That, that's overall, that's not a bad lineup, of course. Now, they didn't, thankfully, in my opinion, leak the entirety of the main box like they did for Zexa World, which was uh, really dumb. So I'll uh, we'll have to wait and see what they've got in store for us for the rest of the box. But until then, we have some brand new characters in Playmaker, in Soul Burner, Gon Azuka, and of course, coming after launch, probably in late October, is going to be Blue Angel herself. So... A bit weird not getting her on day one, but at least she's coming in at least October rather than January. That would be kind of ridiculous, but overall, a solid lineup of, uh, of, of new characters. Now, we have some skills, we have some cards. First of all, is Storm Access, taken straight from the anime, add a Deco Talk and a Firewall Dragon to your extra deck. So, Firewall day one is going to be skill locked, which I think is fine. It's not a great card after the Errata, so I don't think it'll be any, any good anyway, but still, at least it's playable. Then, when your life for a thousand or below, add a random code talker to an extra deck, which can be from literally any of the ones in the game, right? It can be encode, it can be X code, power code, trans code, or shooting code. There are a ton of them in the game. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, going to be a pretty fun skill. And I think over time, like every main box, right, we'll get one of these code talkers have released. So the next one probably will be the, uh, the X code. I think we're getting power code on release as well. So... You know, that's that's plenty fine. Then we have Soul Burner with his Burning Draw skill, which is kind of like a pot of greed, but locking you into Salamon Grates, which is kind of okay. You know, um, it is turn five and onwards. So does that mean Konami think that the game is now going to be kind of extended? Because usually by turn five, the game is done. So this will be interesting to see how this works. But overall, 
it's a very cool anime skill. It's not consistency based, so there might still be a consistency skill. We don't know just yet, but it's Salem a great sub, do they really need it, given they've got three copies of Silent Mining? Probably not. Finally, Go Nezuka with his Fighting Spirit Avenger skill, which works for Goki Sandana wrestlers, and this just summons out one from your grave of the same level as one that destroyed his turn. So, I guess it's okay. You know, bringing them back, linking them off, I guess is fine. It's not all that interesting. So, if these are the best skills they have day one, then by far, it's gotta go to Playmaker, right? With some access. But I think, given how these read, these won't be the hyper consistent skills we're kind of expecting, unless they're going to wait until we get a brand new main box, right, with new support, and then give us the skills. Maybe that's what they do to make sure the new world isn't like, you know, um, Sex of the World, where we had, uh, you know, the Gaga Gar stuff on day one being really good. We did get some demo decks from Tokyo Game Show, and they kind of confirm some important cards. So it does look like here we're going to be getting three copies of the Backup Secretary again, buy tickets or buy the campaign. Silent Mining coming in clutch, a bunch of links, right? You know, Power Code Talker, um, Code Talker again, Land for Linkus, a generic link 2, Pentastag, a generic link 2, and Link Disciple, a generic link 1. Well, not generic, but Cybus link 1. None of these are overly great, and overall, they kind of just present a situation where the uh, the strategy for Code Talkers right now is going to be Unga Bunga Big Beatdown, which I think is kind of fine for early links, right? I don't think they need to reinvent the wheel. But uh, Enko Talker is very cool because you really want him on your left link zone, right? So if you kind of lock your opponent out, if, if, you, if you know your opponent's playing Code Talkers, then you can summon your link to the left zone and block them out of accessing the arrow pointing to the bottom right. So uh, could be pretty fun. But there's the cool stuff in here, right? Of course, the Cyber Dragon Link Slayer. We've got um, Widget Kid, which is another special summon. And overall... Not a terrible deck to start with, but then, then you get to Soul Burner. Oh boy, look at this boy. This is kind of crazy, right? Heat Leo, Sunlight Wolf, Bale Lynx, Sanctuary, Circle. Uh, we're getting Jack, we get Gazelle. We know for sure Jack Jaguar is going to be a level up reward, so that's pretty cool. But Gazelle probably is as well level 30. If it's, if it's a one-off in this deck, right, for, for, for demo purposes, then no way are they giving us this at multiple copies, especially given it's only at two in Master and the OCG, so uh, yeah, but this is looking pretty good so far for, for, for Salamon Greats, right? And the cool thing is, is that for Salamon Greats, you don't get the animation of Heat Leo when you first summon it. You get it when you summon it again via Reincarnation Link Summon via Sanctuary, which is very cool. It gets a unique animation that is kind of crazy. Now, if they gave us Al Almirage instead, right, the generic Link 1, that would have been absolutely insane. But they're not, so overall pretty good. But but for a for a first wave of support, right? If we do get all of these cards, then that's kind of big, you know? Out of the gate, that's very good. We've not we've not even got in this deck, we've not even got the Silent Minings, which is another search spell that works with this deck. And finally, Gonazukas, who we have literally all of his cards already. <laughs> um that's the kind of thing, right, for Gokis, and I think they'll do a selection super mini. They've not confirmed it, they don't usually confirm it prior to release. But we'll get that, we'll reprint this card, and we'll get one copy of Goki Rematch. So I think, again, this will be a level up reward, right? And this just summons up two Goki from your graveyard in defense, which is incredible, right? For the Goki deck, this is a card in TCG that's abused so, so often. So uh, a very good card. And we're getting three links. We're getting the super rare card, Goki the Great Ogre, which is Ace Monster, the ultra rare Thunder Ogre, and I think the Super Edge Ogre. So, you know, uh, not as many links as uh, as other guys, right? As Playmaker, of course. Soul Burner is kind of the same, but these are generally a lot better. But overall, the big one here, of course, is the Thunder Ogre. And it can become very, very big and gain another normal summon, right? Uh, so it kind of triggers off the combo again for the Gokis. And uh, yeah, like, like overall, this brand new world is looking so far to be very, very exciting. I am looking forward to this. On September 28th, a big day for Duel Links. Of course, today was a big day for Master as well, the brand new ban list. So, uh, yeah, Konami kind of going in this month. Really insane. Let me know down below what you think of the brand new world. Rain Squad come to Duel Links. I think there's also a couple of the cards, right, we're going to be getting. Um, seemingly, right, Recoded Alive, um, Silent uh, Free Fresh, Microcoder as well was seen in the live stream, which is crazy. Lady Debug as well is also crazy. 
like if we get these all these cards on day one then Rain's World might just be the best day one box since the dark side of Dimensions World. Thanks for watching, let me thoughts down below and I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. Rest in peace Blue Angel, see you then.